So for this problem, the first thing we're going to try is u substitution. So whenever you do u, u substitution, always try to set the entire denominator as u. So u is equal to x cubed plus 6x squared plus 5. Now du, which is the derivative, is just 3x squared because I bring down the 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. And then over here, 6x squared, bring down the 2, that makes 12x, and then the 5 disappears. So now we have 3x squared plus 12x. So we look to see if that's what we have in the actual integral. Well, we don't have this 3 in front, but we do have x squared plus 4x. So what we can do is just divide both sides by 3. So it's du divided by 3, so that we'll get x squared plus 4x. And that we actually do have. So now we write this as a new integral. So we represent everything in the uh, old integral into the new one. So we said that x squared plus 4x dx is equal to du over 3. So that's the same as du. And then I'm just pulling out a 1 third. And then 1 because this, this uh, goes away once we put 1 third du. And then u, which is x squared plus 6x six, six squared plus 5. So this is something you just have to memorize, but the integral of 1 over u is ln of u. So that's ln of u. You keep the 1 third. But this isn't the final answer because we have to plug in u. And since I said u is this, you have to plug that in. So I plug that in. 1 third ln x cubed plus 6x six squared plus 5 plus c. And that's your final answer. And so, um, yeah, don't forget the plus C because that's a really easy place that they can um, mark off points. And don't forget to plug in your actual value and don't leave it just as you. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.